hi everyone welcome back to yet another exciting recipe if you're already subscribed welcome back thank you for your support and if you haven't you know what to do today we are making a coconut cake a new recipe i have not tried this before so go through it with me let's get straight in to start off with we need a 20 centimeter cake tin like this one Let's start off with our weight ingredients. We're going to require two whole eggs, some vanilla essence. I'm pretty sure you guys know what vanilla essence is, but I'll still show it to you guys anyway. We're also going to need some water. I'll put details of everything down in the description. We also need extra virgin coconut oil. It has to be extra virgin. This has to do with the flavor. Trust me, you guys. need some molasses now for the dry ingredients we are going to be using some regular white granulated sugar self-raising flour remember I told you that I'll put details of the measurements down in the description below so just don't worry about it we're also using desiccated coconut. Everything is rolling away from me. We're also going to be using salt. And please guys, lastly, everything will be down in the description below. Our utensils, very, very important. Let's go. Let's get started. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. As you all know, coconut oil is solid at room temperature, especially if the weather is cold. So you're going to take half a cup of the solid stuff and put it in the microwave to melt. Now we're going to enlist the help of a non-stick spray to make sure that we grease our pan and flour it. This is to make sure that our cake comes right out when we are done baking it. It would be such a shame to have the cake stuck in the pan. flour the sides as well. Let us mix our dry ingredients, put your flour into a separate bowl. Now we're going to add half a teaspoon of salt. Salt is a very essential ingredient when baking. Now take your granulated sugar and add it to your flour mixture. Mine has clumped. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Sometimes the kitchen is such a wild place. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Alright, now mix your dry ingredients with a fork and set them aside. 
we are going to be busy with our wet ingredients. Take your eggs and add some vanilla to them. Coconuts is now going to join our dry ingredients. Save a bit for decorating your cake at the end. Alright, now back to our vanilla and eggs. We're going to take those, put them in a separate bowl, and add to that our melted coconut oil. We're going to whisk this so well that it makes a homogenous mixture. We want everything to look the same. for this job whisk vigorously whisk and whisk and whisk thoroughly you want everything to become one Introduce our wet ingredients to the dry. Bring everything closer. Gently pour your egg mixture in and make sure everything is out. Don't leave anything in that bowl. Waste not, want not. your bowl as you mix then we're only going to add half of our water in here and mix and then add the rest at the end add the rest of the water and with your fork, you are going to vigorously mix this. And this is the consistency that we are looking for. Take your glorious batter and pour it into your prepared cake tin. Level it out with a rubber spatula. This cake typically bakes for 40 minutes or until a toothpick inserted right in the middle comes out clean. Now let's move on to our glaze. What you see now is some molasses and water on the stove. You're going to boil it until it looks like this. To check if the cake is ready, insert a toothpick right in the middle and it should come out absolutely clean. 
this is what this glorious cake looks like after it has been cooled to room temperature and cut. Oh my goodness. Now glaze your cake with the molasses mixture and some toasted desiccated coconut. And that's it you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.